Okay, so I said that I was going to do a video on the um, uh, Gen Pro. protein powder okay and this is what it looks like and I'll show you the serving size so it looks like that great this is for um, I believe it's 30 servings let's see um, and here how many servings are in here 30 servings are in here but it's a tablespoon right here so I'll compare this to um, Centrix their serving size um, unflavored the nectar so there's a difference there See the difference? I mean, there's like a huge difference there in the servings. This is Centrix. This is unflavored. Um, Protein-wise, in a serving is, let's see. I thought it was 30, but... It says on here it's 10 grams of protein. Hmm. For some reason I was thinking it was 30. So this is a this is a non-flavored. So this is the you know, look at this. Look at the difference there. It's like a huge difference. So if you're adding this to your flavored drinks or this to your pudding or this to your yogurt. Imagine how much more you're going to have to use compared to compared to this. Yeah, so much more for this. And then I'll show you like a flavored one. This is the, the cookies and cream. I'll show you how big this is. That's the serving size for that. That's huge. Yes, and this is, I believe this is 30... Uh, 23 grams per scoop. 23 grams of protein per scoop. But that is a lot. That is a huge scoop. Okay. And even the unflavored. Okay. And then the um, I do have another one. I do have um, cappuccino, and that's the same size. It's another big scoop. Okay. And I'll show you a scoop that I got. I don't remember what um, protein it was from. But these are the average size scoops right here. I mean, this is smaller. But look how big it is. It's, it's crazy. So, I mean, which one would you rather? I mean, would you rather, let's say these are the same amount of grams of protein. Would you rather use this one with this big scoop or this one? I mean, me, I prefer this, and I'll show you why. This is what I. This is how I use it. Okay, so I have a sugar-free uh, Jello pudding, uh, chocolate. Okay, no nutritional value like whatsoever, but I like it. And, I mean, you can also use pudding or whatever you want. I mean, you can mix it in to anything. I also have these. Um, I also have these. Um, you can mix it in with that. I've done it before. It tastes no flavor. Totally good. So I'll show you how I do this. So I'm going to open this up. Okay. Get my scoop, got my scoop of protein, put the protein in there. And I usually go over to the sink, but I'm just gonna mix it right here so I can show you guys. I might have to go over the sink though, because yeah, I'm gonna have to go probably over the sink because 
I just slowly mix it in. And actually, if you make your own pudding, it's probably going to be easier because you're going to have a little bit a bigger cup or bowl or whatever. So you're going to be able to mix it a lot better. Um, it's kind of hard in this small container, but I do it in here so I don't have to dirty up another dish. And it's just the right amount of uh, serving of pudding. Okay, and I just mix it in. I just keep on mixing, mix, 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 mix until it's all mixed in there. And it's all pretty much mixed in there now. I mean, you can tell, you can look and you can see if you need to mix it up a little bit better. Me, I don't really, I mean, I don't spend a lot of time mixing it. This is probably um, more time than I normally do spend mixing it. And I just, you know, get the, I just wiped off. But I can't even see the protein in there at all because it's all mixed in. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all mixed in. It's just, it's just pudding. And you get your 30 grams of put or your 30 grams of protein in it. And mm, this tastes like pudding. Just like, just pudding. That's what it tastes like, pudding. So, I mean, I really don't understand. I know there's some people that said they tried this and they mixed it with um, a food or something and they tasted um, something. I don't know if it's a food or what, but I've mixed it in with different foods. You can mix it in with hot foods, um, like soups or hot drinks or like coffee or um, I do crystal light, mix it in with my crystal light and I just shake it up. Perfect. Or you could do, actually, what I do is I put it in first, shake it up, and then I add my crystal light to it and then I shake it up again. Works works really good. Um, but, I mean, you can add it to anything. You can cook with it. I mean, you know, it is excellent. You can find it on Amazon or you can go to their website and you can actually go and get um, the samples. And, you know, if you don't want to, you know, you want to try it before you spend, you know, $35 on a container, then um, I would suggest getting the samples first, trying it out. I know you're going to love it. It doesn't even have a smell. Yeah. I mean, can, like I smell this. Ooh. Yeah, that has like a sm strong, like protein. You can smell it. This I think I smell like the plastic. Like there's no smell with the protein. Like there's no smell at all. Like I smell nothing. It's scentless, flavorless. Like, I mean, it is awesome. It does not change the texture of your food. Um, if you've gotten it and it has, I don't know, maybe you need to mix it up better or maybe you're using too much. Make sure that you are using the right um, the right measuring cup. It's a tablespoon. So if you have the wrong one or you accidentally put the wrong one in here, you just get a tablespoon or your measuring tablespoon and it's exactly a tablespoon and just use that because, you know, I mean, it's kind of a waste if you put more than this in there because your body only will absorb 30 grams of protein at a time. So I would highly recommend getting this, especially if you're pre-op, get it ahead of time because this is going to be the easiest way to get your protein in. It took me, you know, I didn't really know anything about this, so I didn't get this until... Uh, let's see, a couple weeks ago. So like two weeks after surgery, I ended up getting this. And, you know, I still love, I don't really care for this. I still have it and maybe eventually I'll use it or maybe I'm just going to give it to somebody, you know, because there's still quite a bit left in it. You know, I still have a little bit left in it. So maybe I'll just give it to someone. I don't know yet. Um, but it this is amazing. And... It's, I, I can't say enough about it. You can just mix it with anything. It's great. Um, I do have the other nectar, the flavor cappuccino, and then cookies, a double stuffed cookie, and I do use that. And basically what I do is, you, you know, you can use milk. You can use um, almond or almond milk. You know, I have almond milk here too. Uh, 
Um, but you can use whatever you want, either this or almond milk, or you can use water. Um, or, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll do a protein shake and I'll mix it in with the cappuccino in the double stuff cookie. I won't use a full scoop because this has 30 grams of protein in it. And basically I split it up. So it, I, I'll make like two drinks out of this one. So I split it. Uh, I don't use a whole scoop of the uh, cappuccino and I don't use a whole scoop of the cookies and cream, but I do mix them together with this and I add some ice and I mix it up. I use, or use the blender or I just, you know, shake it up. You can use a blender ball in your um, thing. You can, you know, but I just split it, you know, put a little half of it in to one, half of it into the other, um, or actually I put it all in and then you use half a scoop and then I split it up. So it's all mixed together. And sometimes you still have to shake it up a little bit more because the cookies and cream, you know, it does have those uh, little, little chunks in there. But I absolutely love this. The, I, the pudding has no nutritional value, but it's just, it's Halloween today. I can't eat any of the candy. So, you know, I'm giving that candy away to the kids and I get to eat my pudding with my 30 grams of protein in it. So easy, easy way to get your protein in to get, you know, do three scoops of those in different meals or whatever. I mean, and you'll have your, your protein for the day. You know, if, you know, certain, certain people need so much protein, you know, I think it's between 60 and like 80 or something like that. Some people need more. So it just depends. But this is the absolutely best that you can get. Flavorless. Great, great, great for weight loss. Um, great for people that need those 30 grams of protein in each serving. Great to get all your protein in every day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I cannot say enough about this. Jen Pro, go to the website, you know, or go to Amazon and pick it up. Um, I got mine off Amazon, but you can always go to the website. They have different products, but this is the one um, that I am talking about today. This is great for people that are about to have weight loss surgery or are post-op. Post -op, you know, this is absolute, absolutely Fabulous, and I recommend this to everybody. It's just great. You mix it in with anything. Awesome. So I wanted to do the video on that, and that is done. And then also, I'll show you some foods. I'm sure I've done this before, but I will do it again. I don't have a whole lot because my meals don't really consist of a whole lot. Just quite yet. Do you have eggs? Let's see. I do have cottage cheese. What else do I have? And obviously, my protein drinks I have chocolate also. Um, let's see. Jello, but I don't really eat the jello. Um, and I do have these. I haven't really eaten these. Um, I'm probably going to have to wait a little while longer before I will. But, um, those wraps. Um, that's pretty much it for right now. Um, so I got this tuna fish, really good. I like it. Just put a little bit of mayonnaise in it. I don't even eat the whole thing. I only eat a little bit of it. Um, then stick it back in the fridge and then get it out later. This is another lemon and pepper. I got, um, sweet and spicy, another lemon and pepper. And then also... I got some salmon. The salmon was on sale. So basically what I did is there was like three fillets. So I basically just cut all the fillets into like threes. And I can't even eat this whole thing. Like I can only eat a little bit. I can eat maybe like a third of this. 
okay? So I just put, made a whole bunch of little baggies and put, you know, a normal serving. This would be a normal serving, you know, palm. If it's my palm, it's a normal serving for a normal person. But for me, I can only eat like that much. So, and then the cats get the rest. <laughs> so I got that. Don't really like this brand. I do like Fiber One brand, but I cannot find the Fiber One brand. So if anybody knows the store that sells a Fiber One brand, let me know because I will go out and get it from that store from now on. But I mean, this isn't bad. I just, for some reason, the Fiber One, I just like the taste of it better. I don't, I don't know why. And then it obviously I have my Prover protein. I have my yogurt. Um, you know. Pudding, I have eggs. You know, I need to make some boiled eggs. I was going to do that today, but I forgot. Um, and then I also have, which I haven't had these yet, but these are uh, no sugar, sugar free or no sugar added um, vegetables. So I figured I'd give these a try, see how I do with those. Um, yeah, and then I also have sugar-free, um, there are no sugar added um, fruit bars. I've had these, I really like these. Oh, and then I do have turkey, I haven't used it yet. It's frozen solid, but I'm not quite to the this stage yet. I'm, I'm pretty much almost there, but yeah, I just haven't. Haven't done it yet. And then also, what else do I have? Uh, oh, sugar free chocolate. Sugar free popsicles. They got these. Yep, I mean, I haven't really had very many of them. I had um, mostly before, before uh, surgery. And then I do have some frozen chicken in here. I haven't used it, obviously, yet. Some frozen chicken, so I'll need to, need to use up. And then I also got some tilapia. I got some tilapia, I get them from uh, Sam's Club, comes in a big bag. Got those, those are good. But that's pretty much it for right now because, um, you know, I really can't really eat a whole lot and. I, when I eat, I want to actually enjoy it. So I like eggs, cottage cheese, um, pudding, you know, if I just want something sweet. That is pretty much it. So um, if I'm going to do start doing some videos, some cooking videos. Um, not really sure how I'm going to exactly set it up. Right now I'm using my laptop. I have usually used my um, phone. But I think this will work actually better because I think you can see the stove right there. So I can do some cooking videos. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some recipes that other people have made, posted. I'm going to make it myself first. <laughs> and then I'm going to do it on video and show you guys the uh, product as I'm doing it and stuff like that. So. Yeah, stay tuned for those and go and look this up. Go and watch some YouTube videos on it. I mean, if you need to, go get samples. If you know somebody that has, because I've actually given some samples to people um, and, you know, they absolutely loved it. You know, if you know someone that uses this, ask them. Just ask them, hey, do you have a sample that you can give me or, or whatever? Or I could, you know, whatever. But it is awesome. So I would definitely recommend that. Definitely. So happy Halloween, everybody. Stay safe. 
and enjoy this day. No, I'm not dressed. I'm dressed up, kind of. I look kind of cute, I think. Do, do, do. But I'm not in a Halloween costume this year. Maybe next year. So, um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. And stay tuned for more.